In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a quiz from Microsoft Word document and import it into Moodle. This particular quiz has at least one question with more than one correct answer. So we want to be able to import the question and the correct answers um, in a way that Moodle recognizes which are the correct ones and which are not. Moodle does not allow you to easily import uh, your qu quizzes from Word documents. So the easiest way to get this done is to copy everything over into Notepad. So I'm just going to copy all of this into a Notepad and we're going to work on the Notepad. Now in Notepad, what you'll need to do is you're going to need to format your questions using the GIFT format. Now the GIFT format uh, requires you to basically delete all of the numbers, the spaces, and you're going to need to code the correct answers. So I'm going to show you how to do one and then I'm going to pause the video to complete all of the other ones. Now to code the questions in a way that Moodle will recognize which are the correct ones and which are not, what you'll need to do is you're going to need to begin with uh, typing in a curly bracket and then tilde and then a percentage sign and then you're going to need to decide whether or not you want to allocate a hundred percent or zero percent. A hundred percent means that this is the correct answer. Zero means that this is the false or the incorrect answer. In this particular question this is actually the correct answer so we're going to type in 100 and add another percentage sign. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to basically just copy this right here so we don't have to keep on typing it. And we're going to put tilde percentage and this is not the correct answer so we're going to do 0% right there. So we're going to copy this and we're going to insert it for the third and for the fourth option. Once you're done putting in the scores or the correct versus the incorrect answers, what you want to do is you need to close the curly bracket over here like that. Now you will follow that format for all of the questions and if you do have a question that has a more than one correct answer you will put in two 100 percent. Now I've already done this on a previous notepad so this is what it's going to look like. All of the questions don't really have any spaces or numbers before them and I've coded all of them. Now you will notice that in this particular question right over here that there are two 100 percent because there are two correct answers to this question. Now once you're done coding your questions what you'll need to do is save this document or save this uh, text file and close it. Now go to your Moodle class. I'm already logged into my Moodle class. I am already uh, in edit mode so I've got it turned on and I have a quiz over here. If I click on the quiz you'll notice that the quiz does not have any questions yet because we haven't uploaded anything. So now that we're inside the quiz we're gonna go to the administration panel on the left side and we're gonna click on question bank, click on import, and here's where we're going to import our questions that were in Notepad. We are going to select the GIFT format, that's very important. Click on General. I like to categorize where I'm going to be putting my quizzes, so the import category for me is going to be basically the name of the uh, quiz itself, which is Syllabus Quiz. Then you simply need to take your Notepad quiz, drag it and drop it into this area, click on import. Our quest questions have already been uploaded. Click on continue. Great. Now you'll notice that the default syllabus quiz has six questions in it. What I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to edit the quiz and you'll notice that the syllabus quiz does not have any questions at this moment. What you want to do next is click on Add from Question Bank and then select the category that you uploaded your questions to. I uploaded them to the Syllabus Quiz category right there and it says six because I have six questions. I'm going to select that. You'll see that the questions are populated. Now you need to select all of them and click on Add Selected Questions to the quiz. Great, now we've got all of our six questions and if you want to check to make sure that the 
correct answers were properly selected, what you want to do is just go ahead and click on them. I'm just going to click on the one that has two correct answers to make sure that happened correctly. So I'm going to click on it here, scroll down, and question one right there should have 100%, so this is correct. Question two should be none, zero points, and then question three was also correct, so it's 100%. And this is how you can go ahead and create a uh, quiz and word document and then basically code it in notepad and then upload it to Moodle. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I plan on making more tutorials. If you have a specific question um, or if you'd like a specific tutorial made uh, related to Moodle or to Google Docs, um, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to go ahead and um, create one for you. Thank you so much for your support and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.